Hi, today I want to show you the different return types query can do. First, we start with the regular return type a query. So the query is simply returning a result set. As you can see here, we have a select statement with two columns, that's it. So if we execute that, we get this result, a simple result set. But with Lucy, you can define the return type the, the query tag should give you. By default, like we've seen before, it's query, but you can also say you want to have an array. When you set array, you're getting this result. You see, you have, a, have an array, and for every row, you have an, an item in the array, and you have a struct with all the columns, so you have an array of structs. That array is special because it has meta information about the SQL statement, so you still see the SQL, record count, and execution time, and so on. What you also can do instead of array is struct. When you define struct, the result is stored in a struct. In that case, you have to define what the key of the struct should be. So which column is then the key of the struct? In that case, I simply define, I want to have last name as the key of the struct. So when we execute it, you see again, we now have to get a re, uh, struct as a result and the key is the last name. So you can directly pick one of these elements by writing the last name. So what is this good for? Here an example that maybe makes a little bit more sense. You see, we have, we have here two tables we, we make a query to. First is the, the table we already saw, that's the person. And that now has, has uh, a foreign key to, to a, a table that is called sex. So we get the sex ID. And here we have uh, the second query where, where we get all the sex. So um, we store that in the application scope we, because we don't expect that to change. So then I here can simply use that because it is a struct and uh, the sex ID is the key of in that struct, so we simply can can address that in that way. When I execute that, you see we get the result as expected. We have here the the result from the other table that is referenced by a foreign key. So this is about the return types from the tag CF query. I hope this video was helpful to you. Have a good one.